A 24-year-old Michigan mom is dead tonight, and we know the suspect's violent past started decades ago here in West Michigan. Tonight, Target 8 has the courageous story of John White's first known victim. All I could see was red all over the place. There wasn't a place on my body that wasn't covered. That 49-year-old Calhoun County woman knew John White 32 years ago. Tonight, he sits in the Isabella County Jail in Mount Pleasant, charged with killing his neighbor, 24-year-old Rebecca Gay. White was planning to marry Gay's mom and often babysat her three-year-old son. When police started interviewing him yesterday, he admitted that he fantasized about killing Gay for days, then made his fantasy a reality, dumping her body in a ditch. Our team of investigators has spent the last 24 hours working to learn as much as possible about this man accused of monstrous things, where he lived and who he hurt. We begin with Target 8 investigator Ken Colker, who spoke with Teresa Morris, White's first known victim. She is a survivor, and her interview is honest and graphic. We want to warn you, you may find it hard to hear. And Ken, White only spent two years behind bars for that attack. Yeah, Brian, that's right. Teresa is John White's first known victim, attacked more than 30 years ago. But she is convinced there were others before her and likely more since then that nobody knows about. He said, this isn't my first time, but just shut up. You're making this more difficult than it has to be. Word spoken, she says, by John White as he stabbed her 15 times. This was in 1980. She was 17. He was a 22-year-old married man living just down the street in a Battle Creek home that has since been torn down. It's now a parking lot. He had invited her over to look at his new slot car racetrack. Within moments, she says, she felt the first stab under her right shoulder blade. Then she recalls facing him as he cut open her abdomen. I remember watching him, and it was just... God, the look on his face was just like pure pleasure. Like putting a knife into butter. Then she was on the floor. He held me while he did it and just kept rocking me. And, Shh, just go to sleep. She says she fought. A few times, she says, he called her by his wife's name. He would stand there and he would look at me on the floor and he says, well, are you dead yet? Oh. Teresa says she is not surprised to learn that White wanted to have sex with Rebecca Gay after killing her. She believes that that was his plan for her more than 30 years ago. He said, you're going to be a really nice piece of meat. Uh, what are you talking about? And he says, well, if I can't have you, I'm sure as hell not going to let anybody else have you. She said that he kissed her and touched her as she lay on the floor. He wiped my mouth off and he kissed me and he held my hand and he said, you're going to go now. He says, I'm real sorry you had to go like this. He says, but what the fuck? you're just a woman. She says she played dead and that he left her believing he had cut her throat. Instead, he got her chin. Then she says his wife walked in with a sheet. And put a sheet over my face and said, shut up, just shut up. And I'm just begging her for help. A woman visiting the home heard her screams and helped her. Soon there were police and paramedics. White got five to 10 years in prison, but was released after two. I felt really betrayed and I was scared, not just for me because of the way that he did it was so easy and so comfortable for him. I was scared that maybe he'd either try to come back and finish or somebody else would take my place. What a mm. terrifying story. I mean, it's horrible. Now, what, she had another account that happened with John White, right? Yeah, it was about four years after he was released, and, and she had no idea he was out of prison. She was standing at a Secretary of State's office. She was standing in line, and she heard this voice behind her, and it's this voice that had been haunting her ever since. And she turned around, and there he was smiling at her in line. She said she grabbed one of those stanchions and went, actually went after him, and a security guard had to separate them, and the security guard just told her to run. And he only served two years in prison? Yeah, he got five to ten, but was released after two years. That is amazing. Ken Colker, thank you for that. Ken, thank you.